called it. What are you filming? Mm, the one that I just filmed was blurry, so I have to redo oh, it. Oh, what chocolate do you have in here for me? You can't open it, so that sucks. Why well, can't I open it? Because you only have one arm, figure it out. <laughs> Jay and today I have a super exciting thriller art haul from Macmillan. They sent me over five thrillers that are going to be released winter 2019 so I thought I would share them with you guys. I'm going to do them in order of release date so without further ado let us get started. The first arc that they sent me is called The Lonely Dead and this is by April Henry. This is going to be released January 2019. The book follows Adele who has the ability to talk to ghosts and she she has always been in denial of this ability. She doesn't want to talk about it, but then she discovers her ex-best friend Trixie in a very shallow grave in the middle of the woods. Adele doesn't have an alibi, so she quickly becomes the suspect of this murder investigation and so she decides that she's going to work with Trixie's ghost in order to find her murderer and clear her name. She needs to do this without gaining any attention from the actual murderer or else she may be his next victim. I'm intrigued, I want to know what happened to Trixie and also like I personally would not be in denial of this power because I think talking to ghosts would be super cool as long as they were nice because if they're mean ghosts then like stay away Satan. The next book that I have is called What We Buried and this is by Kate A. Borman and this one is to be released February 2019 and I think this one sounds really good as well and also just like the cover is super duper badass in my opinion. This follows siblings Liv and Jory and they resent each other because Liv has been raised to be a pageant queen so she has always been in the spotlight where Jory was born with a partial facial paralysis so he felt that he has always been in the shadows so the one thing that they do have in common is a hatred for their parents so when Liv decides that she is going to sue her parents for emancipation Jory thinks that this is another ploy for her to gain all of the attention that she can and so when the day of the trial comes and the parents go missing they need to work together in order to find the parents so when they go off trying to figure out what happened to their parents Liv thinks that Jory knows a little more than he leading on which is true and it's kind of the story of them trying to navigate each other and find their parents. Intrigued because um did Jory kill his parents or something or like what happened? Did he like hire people to get rid of the parents? We don't know but we are interested to find out. The next book is going to be released in March 2019 and it is called Fake Plastic Girl and this is by Zara Lisbon and it follows Justine Childs who has been a very average teenager her entire life and that's when ex-child star Eva Kate Kelly moves in next door to her and it kind of invites her into her luxurious life. So when Eva Kate Kelly turns up murdered, everybody turns towards Justine for the main suspect and it's her trying to clear her name. I'm thinking maybe Justine like became obsessed with Eva's life and she's like hey if I kill her off I can take over her life but I'm probably wrong there are so many theories going through my head right now they're probably all wrong but hey I'm still interested to see if I'm right. The next book I have is going to be released in April 2019 and it's called All We Could Have Been by T. Carter and this book follows a girl named Lexi who five years ago witnessed something that basically changed her entire life forever and now in order to cope she moves from town to town trying to hide this family secret from everybody. So every town that she goes to she assumes a new name, a new role, and she moves away the instant somebody figures out who she is. She now lives with her aunt with very minimal conversation with anybody and she has no contact with her parents or her brother. She starts at a new school and all she wants to do is just have a fresh start but her past keeps following her and it's basically the story of her trying to deal with that. I want to know what this family secret is. Honestly, I'm thinking like drunk driving or something based off of the cover because it's like broken glass, so I'm thinking car accident. I don't know. We are gonna find out once we read the book, but that's my theory. And then the final book that they sent me is also going to be released April 2019. The book is Last Girl Lied To and this is by L.E. Flynn and it follows a girl named Fiona whose best friend ends up committing suicide, but she doesn't believe that this is true and she thinks that Trixie is actually still alive. So so she ends up pairing up with Jasper who was Trixie's friends with benefit at the time and Bo who 
Trixie was in love with, but he didn't feel the same way about her. So as I start uncovering things about Trixie, Fiona quickly realizes that certain things that Trixie told her weren't true and that she might have just been waiting to disappear all along. And it's kind of her trying to figure out what happened and all that. So I'm intrigued again. I have had this on my radar for quite a while since the synopsis came out. I think it sounds really good. And also the author is super sweet. I've talked to her on Twitter before and she's just adorable. So I'm very excited to read this one as well. All right, guys. So those were the five arcs that Macmillan sent my way. Thank you so much to Macmillan for sending them to me. I love thrillers, so I am so excited for every single one of them. Let me know down below if you guys are planning to read any of these when they are released and which ones you are the most excited for, and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!